Hey, good morning. It's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 38th Floss 2 video. It's Tuesday the 6th of August and it's my day off. I started working again this week uh, after my summer break, uh, which was so much fun. But that's not the reason why you're watching my channel. Um, yeah, I have a lot to tell you and not a lot to tell you. Uh, I will save a bit for my life update because, and that's going to be in the end, because a lot has happened. Um, I didn't do much stitching because of life and I will tell you all about it. And, um, yeah, let's just start. Um, you will see I'm in a different spot this time. I, as I just told you in my last video, I um, changed up my craft room. I didn't change it up as in, um, yeah, giving everything another, another place. But I just bought this huge, huge Calyx cabinet from Ikea, uh, which is... Uh, five five rows wide and high so it's very huge and it contains all my crafting supplies and I love it and I will insert some pictures I took uh, how it looks like here And then I, uh, in spite of my life updates, which I will tell you all about in the end, um, managed to paint my walls downstairs uh, during my summer break. And I, I had to laugh really hard. I saw an Instagram post by Mika at Darling Bluebell. Uh, which stated uh, who else in their right mind would uh, choose paint colors uh, according to uh, PR147 by Silks for You. And what do you know? I did. <laughs> I will show you some, some or one picture how my wall looks. It's just one wall with that color and the rest is white. So uh, it just... <coughs> excuse me one day at work and I immediately have uh, have a cold so air conditionings yeah um, I will show you a picture here and I immediately let Mika know uh, I did <laughs> so uh, yeah and if you've seen Mev Mev stitches in Paris she also <laughs> painted her wall the, with a very, very, very beautiful blue. Uh, and you will have to look up uh, at her next or her last video, uh, which she shows a little of that wall. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun in the in WhatsApp, in the group we have uh, since retreat uh, about the paint colors on our walls and uh, matching it up with hanks of silks for you. So... <laughs> very much fun uh, but for um, stitching update as you all know uh, in my last video I stated I had a I was playing hooky for the school of magical stitches and um, that was the first week of my summer break the next week of my summer break I did my homework um, because it was too hot to paint it was over 40 degrees Celsius so it was so much fun um, we didn't do anything except for laying around in front of a van fan so that's it but I did uh, my homework for year five week four which was detention um, 
and we had to do a thousand stitches in blue or black which resembles ink so I immediately said yes it's going to be castle walls by ink circles because I'm using all blues by uh, silks for you PR 147 which is highly popular and PR 069 and this is what I where I was the last time and let's see this is what I have so far I will show you a little bit up close and as everybody says the PR 147 which is the middle circle isn't showing up true to color so um, but I did manage to do a thousand and five stitches on ink circles castle walls and uh, yeah I really love it I made my start on the middle circle around uh, the middle circle with PR 069 which is a very dark blue and yeah I love it love working on it um, I will list all my projects um, below in the description box and which fabric I use and which count and which flosses so you can look it up if you have questions about it that's ink circles castle walls and then um, I didn't do I played hooky again I didn't do my homework the next week I uh, I wasn't feeling it I uh, had a lot going on uh, and I didn't have time to stitch at all I didn't stitch at all last week uh, so the only thing I can show you is my Christmas in July my last update about that and it's going to be here hey I was hoping it would choose um, cherub with three again because I yeah totally want to get this finished before Christmas but I'm not sure if I can make it uh, but we will see how much I can get done it's now Thursday um, the 25th of July and I have I think two days to work on it for maybe an hour or two hours a day so we will see um, yeah you will see it in the next uh, little clip okay so this is what I have done so far I finished I'm sorry for the wobbliness I finished all the green parts till the bottom of the pattern and I'm going to work my way back into the tree with the other green colors and maybe do some crinic the next time I will work will work on this pattern for now uh, I think I've done enough and I'm putting it away for another Christmas project so back to that video It's my Mill Hill Holiday Greetings uh, project. I haven't been working on this one uh, very long. Um, I just started on fabric instead of the paper and uh, loving it so much more. So uh, the Tiny Decisions app for Christmas Stitching in July chose this project. So I'm going to be working on this one today and we will see how much I can get done. So. We will see you in a bit. So this is what I have so far for Holiday Greetings by Mill Hill. I worked on this particular block. I was aiming for finishing it, but uh, yeah, my mother um, had to be hospitalized and I didn't stitch for a week. So um, yeah, this is what I had left off. Um, almost a week ago so this is what I have for the last part of Christmas stitching in July and yeah I'm happy with it 
and we will see when I get back to this. And now let's go back to the regular video. Thank you. So that were my those were my Christmas in July projects, uh, which are not uh, not much, but I did manage to do a little bit. And yeah, um, leaves me to tell you about uh, my new start. I did a new start. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't um, not start it. Uh, and it's not the new heaven and earth designs, if you are thinking about that. But that's going to be soon as well. Um, as you all know, I borrowed Touching the Autumn Sky by Mirabilia from Nolene, expat stitcher on Instagram. And um, I felt the need to start it. So I have a small start and this is the pattern, which is just a photocopy of the pattern because I wanted to protect the uh, original pattern for Nolene. And this is my small start. I started on the jacket from the little girl and uh, I'm out one color so I have to run to the store to buy that color uh, so I can fill it up but I made a nice start on it and this is going to be my focus piece uh, when I don't have homework and uh, I want to at least work on it once a week so I can finish this as soon as possible so the pattern can go back to Nolene and this is my gorgeous needle minder from Lydia lovely stitches on YouTube and yeah so sorry I just got cut off because I got a phone call lovely when you're filming um, what was I talking about I was talking about um, touching the autumn sky I want to get this done as soon as possible so I can give this back to Nolene and yeah that's it that's all my stitching for the last two and a half three weeks um, I showed you my Christmas in July I guess and that's all I managed to do and um, yeah um, the last thing I would like to show you is my Happy Mail slash um, a random act of kindness. I received last week a um, an email from somebody in the Dutch Heaven and Earth Designs group, uh, which she was asking if I haven't checked my mail for a long time because. Uh, there was something in my mail, she said. So I immediately said, yes, I'm checking it multiple times a day. So I haven't seen anything. So I will look in my spam folder immediately. And there it was. Uh, a week before that, I was uh, racked by somebody in the Dutch Heaven and Earth Designs group. And she racked me with this pattern. This pattern was on my wish list, uh, and yeah, uh, she was uh, yeah sending it to me because she wanted to me uh, she she wanted to give me the feeling I could cool, cool off because it was so hot. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really, really liked it, and I never, never, um, yeah, I just. I was really surprised and yeah, thank you so much for that pattern. I really like it. Um, then um, I believe a week and a half ago or two weeks ago, my friend Alice was visiting me. She was here and we talked and didn't do any stitching at all as we do never. So um, and she finished a couple of patterns and she gave them to me to stitch so I would like to show you. She gifted me Morning Walk by the Scarlet House and she stitched it up beautifully and finished it in a pillow and I think I'm going to do that too. So this is a gorgeous one. 
she gifted me Fox View by Plum Street Samplers, which is darling. And she gifted me, and this is very, very beautiful, um, Lila Studio Season Summer. And she also finished this in a pillow. And she was finished with them and isn't going to stitch them again. So she asked me if I would like them. So I said, yes, of course. <laughs> so thank you, Alice. I really appreciate this. And when I stitched these patterns up and finished them, I will... Uh, do them give give them away on my channel then I received um, a notification that I won a giveaway by Michelle Bendy so yay uh, she per usual gives away every week a couple of patterns and there was one pattern that really stood out for me I don't know why because it's nothing really special but I I just fell in love with it and I commented on her video and she uh, drew my name so um, yeah I was really happy about it and I just last week received it um, it's Little House Needleworks pineapples it doesn't have the plastic cover anymore and she folded it because that's what she does and that's I don't mind and as soon as I will finish this I will give this away too to pay it forward so and the last thing that got that I got in the mail was my fabric for my new heaven and earth I haven't started it yet I just bought um, a huge piece of 25 count Zweigert easy guide I believe it's called and uh, this is my first time working on 25 count and uh, pre-gridded fabric so I just wanted to try it out so this is going to be my fabric for heaven and earth designs quick stitch uh, a stitch in time winter uh, which I will be starting as soon as possible I know I am in no starts 2019 but slowly 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 I am stepping off that idea because I just want to start all the things I yeah I can't help myself so um, yeah that was all I would like to show you and tell you about and the last thing I would tell you about is my life update um, as you all know I was planning on rearranging my uh, living room and kitchen uh, painting the walls uh, which I did luckily uh, but the first two weeks of my summer break was too hot to paint even the paint shop said no you can't be you can't be painting because uh, first off it's not good for you um, not good for your health and second of all the paint isn't supposed to be above 25 degrees Celsius so no way we were going to paint the first two weeks of um, um, my summer break so we did nothing instead uh, I did a little bit of stitching in the evening uh, when it would it cooled off a bit and uh, I could sit in my garden uh, without any Sun um, yeah watched a lot of Netflix I highly 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 recommend Glee which is new on Netflix in the Netherlands so very 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 much enjoyed that series um, and then the first two weeks were over and we finally uh, felt it cooled down a bit so we made plans to start painting so we took apart all our furniture put it in the middle of the living room uh, took out uh, paintings uh, from the wall um, filled up holes in the wall and uh, yeah just prepare before painting and then very suddenly uh, my mom um, was rushed to the hospital uh, my mother is I believe 68 right now uh, she is very 
active and very strong, a very strong woman. And um, yeah, very independent. And yeah, I can't explain, uh, but she was rushed to the hospital. Um, she had some complaints about her health for the last couple of weeks about she was vomiting a lot and uh, wasn't feeling her old self and um, she uh, had a lot of pain in her abdomen abdomen and <clears throat> when she was rushed to the hospital uh, we all went to the hospital and stayed there all day and um, found out that she had a renal pelvis infection which was there for a very long time and just uh, flared up and she next to that was very much dehydrated she couldn't talk couldn't couldn't walk uh, she was very pale very weak and um, <clears throat> that's a bit of a shock when you uh, normally have a mother which is very strong and always there and no health problems whatsoever and then you will see her in the hospital very weak and um, we will have to take care of her instead of she taking care of us so that put a dent in our last week last week of our summer break and the painting but that's not important um, we just dropped everything and went to the hospital and just to make sure she uh, isn't in any danger uh, she was for a bit uh, she had very high fevers and she yeah she had to be be on a drip and uh, got some antibiotics uh, she was in the hospital for about five days I think which is very long for us in the Netherlands. Normally, when you're at, you're admitted to a hospital, you uh, you will be leaving the next day, if you're even admitted at all, because that's just how it works. And the yeah, she was admitted for five days, and that says something. So uh, we are very cautious. She just was released last Saturday from the hospital and um, has no fever anymore <clears throat> she um, uh, isn't vomiting anymore she feels a lot better she uh, isn't dehydrated anymore but my mother uh, yeah she I don't know she's very stubborn <laughs> uh, and I know, don't know where I get it from <laughs> because I'm the same. But my mother is very stubborn and we have to talk to her, talk her out of things uh, immediately after the hospital. And she already called me. She wanted to go to a very big uh, market here and today. And I said, Mom, are you crazy? You just was released from the hospital. You You have to gain your strength back you are not well uh, you are not you you have to recover from this you that's not going to happen <laughs> I'm sorry and she was a bit disappointed but yeah uh, no I'm not going to take her to a very big market which which is very busy and uh, she would have to walk for a very long time and no it's not going to happen uh, but she is okay now and she is gaining strength every day uh, she has an appetite again which she also lost and uh, yeah she is going to be her old self but I think it's going to be it's going to take a little bit of time so for everybody who knows my mother was admitted to the hospital. Thank you very much for your well wishes. I uh, have let her know you were thinking about her and she really appreciated it. And yeah, thank you so much for, yeah, for your well wishes. It meant a lot, lot to me. 
um, but that was the reason why I haven't stitched at all last week. I was worrying too much. I was constantly in and out of the hospital. Um, me and my sisters were constantly apping on the phone each other. Uh, how is she doing now? And uh, what can we do? Do we need to do a little bit more? Do we need to ask questions? That sort of things. So, yeah. Um, that was a bit scary. And that was my life for the last week. And um, I'm happy she is doing okay now. And uh, I can stitch again. So, uh, my plans for... The, this week, uh, I'm still contemplating if I will do uh, the homework for the School of Magical Stitches this week, which is another thousand stitches, and I'm not sure if I can make it or if I just leave the homework again for this week and just pick out any project that screams to me uh, so I can find my stitchy feeling back. So, you will see that in the next video. Um, leaves me to thank you for watching my video. Thank you for returning my to my channel. And everybody who is new, um, I should have said it in the beginning of the video. Thank you and welcome. And I hope you would like to subscribe to my channel. If you already did, I thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah. That's going to be it for now. So, um, yeah. I will see you, I hope, in a week or two. So, bye for now.